Hi, this is Sensei Bukho of Aquafang and Jitsu, and today I'm going to demonstrate some sword techniques. <clears throat> First thing with a sword when you're holding this sword, your right hand goes on top of the handle, left below, and keep that thumb tucked behind the guard. This is to prevent getting cut by an opponent. I'm going to teach eight basic cuts today, and sometime later I'll do some other techniques like draws and quick draws and stuff. Today's just the techniques. When you're going to thrust, keep your body upright, right foot in front of left, and thrust out, straight, twist. Out, straight, twist. The reason you twist is as you stab with this, if you were using this on an opponent, a blade going into the body, the skin can seal around the blade and create a suction cup. Twisting as you draw out helps you free the sword quicker. Next cut is right to left slash. And you're not using less like a baseball bat to hack out. It's a slicing weapon, so your movement Stand in a box stance, cut out, return to your hip, return to your body. That way if you miss, you can thrust. This translates to a diagonal slash from left to right. 45 degree angle on this cut because if you do anything other, as you're cutting, it can bend, warp, break the sword, damage it. So start up above your head like this, twist to a 45 degree angle, like this, and cut down. Keeping that angle at 45 degrees. Now, from the lower uppercut, from right to left, you're gonna hold this at a 45 degree angle. And I plan to do this outside where there's more space, but it's sort of raining today, so I'm not going to wanna to damage this stuff. You're gonna cut up, cut upward, and you're gonna return side of your head. The reason you return to your body once again is if you miss, you can thrust out again. One more time. Now slashing from left to right, same distance. From right to left, Downward slash, 45 degree angle. Same thing from left to right uppercut, 45 degree angle. Now your final cut out of eight, start over your head, down. Good way to practice this is do squats. Your body should be upright as you cut down. So one more time, draw. These are some basic techniques. I'll go into some more techniques later. 
but this is a fascinating weapon to practice with. I normally don't demonstrate sword indoors as much because we don't have the space we do outside. I would much rather be outside doing this. But that's all for this. I hope it was informative and I will produce a video later on the proper names for these cuts. The names of each part of the sword I will go into detail on at a later video. Because it's well worth knowing the proper terminology for these things. But for introduction purposes, I'll go into more basic descriptions of stuff. Next sword demonstration, I'll demonstrate some draw techniques, quick draws. How you can draw from your belt. A quick draw to do a downward slash. Quick draw to do a horizontal slash. I'll do all kinds of different draw techniques on this, but that's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is Sensei Bill Cole signing out.